afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. And boy, some startling things going on in the world today. I mean, I got this one video from a good friend of mine in FEMA talking about rabbis causing children to get herpes, uh, mainly because of the, uh, the procedure that is done by rabbis when they're circumcising the child. Uh, well, I don't want to get grotesque about this, but they use their own mouth to be able to remove the blood. And uh, one rabbi who is infected with herpes has been causing that to happen to little children. That was being reported by, um, let me see what news broadcast that was there that reported that, but uh, uh, it was very disturbing. It was literally a local news station there that was uh, reporting that. He's Let me just play making it. making them sick. And what's worse, she says no one is doing anything to stop him. They all call Israel. Um, For centuries, when a Jewish this baby is Channel boy is 12, born, News 12 the special report. of circumcision is performed. Oh, yeah, yeah. But in some ultra-Orthodox communities, religious leaders known as Moyles also engage in something controversial during the bris. Yeah. So anyway, uh, that way you could just leave. So Channel 12 News had reported that. I didn't have a chance to put that up on the screen for you. By the way, Israel has started their attack on Rafa. Hundreds have already been killed in this attack that they're doing there. This just does not let up, which brings me to this particular uh, congressman, Andy Ogles. And you may have already seen this hit headlines in the news after his comment. He is quickly trying to backpedal on this, saying that, oh, I'm only talking about Hamas when he said kill them all. But that's kind of hard for him to do that, especially when the question is being presented to him about the babies, the children that are being killed in the Gaza war, ripped to shreds. And the lady that's asking him about his stance on this, this Tennessee congressman of Nashville, Tennessee, is clearly stating to her, you know, you want my you want my thought? Kill them all. All right, then he comes back and he's trying to justify it, saying that it was uh, because of Hamas he is talking about. I want to play the clip for you and then see what your thoughts are on this. Number three, I'll play a different clip in a moment for you. No evidence of that. You've seen footage of all right, now I'm going to play you. I think it's where her phone is doing the recording of this. Um, over, let's see, I think it's on, uh, I don't have it on Twitter pulled up. Let me pull it up on Twitter real quick for you guys, because this is very, very, very troubling. Uh, when I saw this here and this here, you can hear the audio better on this clip here. Let's listen in on this one. Um, You've seen footage of children's bodies. That's my taxpayer dollars. I'm going, going to bomb those kids. So I think we should kill them all. Does that make you feel better? Everybody, come on. Yes. All right, let's look at it again. He said, if that, let's say, back it up. I think we should kill them all. Okay, it goes on to say, because they're doing a transcript, if that will make you feel better. That's his statement there. Um, do you even have a heart, she says, but let's back up and see what she's saying. And this is why I have a problem with what he claims there. I've seen the footage of shredded children's bodies, okay, and that's my taxpayer dollars. That's what she's saying to him, going to bomb those kids. And then he says here, I think we should kill them all. If that will make you feel better. Now, maybe arguably, 
Maybe he is talking about Hamas. And he may not be specifically speaking about the children, but he could be talking about all Palestinians in that regard. But it's very difficult to single that out when she is specifically talking about the children that are being killed. She's not talking about the adults. She's not talking about the mothers or the fathers, nor Hamas. She's specifically talking about only the children. So, you know, even if he didn't mean it, that was the worst statement he could have ever made under the condition of the questions that are being asked and presented to him. So that's a major shame on this Republican uh, congressman, Mr. Ogles. So, you know, this is the whole problem with what's going on. There is no sympathy at all for these children and, and no outcry whatsoever, except by a handful of people like this that have the courage to make a stand and say something about it. Uh, you know, I, I'm just, I'm blown away by this. Uh, listen, this is something too I wanted to share with you guys here. Uh, I got this from Charles. He sent it to me there uh, from The Inconvenience Truths by Jennifer Zinn. Uh, today, the temperature in some regions in Xinjiang suddenly dropped to minus 50 degrees Celsius or minus 61.6 degrees Fahrenheit. A sharp drop of 45 degrees and waterfowl died off in large numbers. What happened? She says, what happens with global warming, right? Now, this is no staged photo uh, video either, all right? I'm going to point out something to you as you're looking at this. You will see the feathers of the birds blowing in the wind if you pay close attention because it's very windy out where they are. Let me get it one second there and you can see it. I've seen, there you go, there it goes right there. This bird right here, if you watch, He's one where you can see the wind blowing his wings. See it right there? All right, now let's see another one's here. Yep, back over there, there is one right just before it ends right there. This bird right in here also, the, just the feathers are blowing. And the water is literally frozen. The water just froze even in the motion of it. I mean, you want to talk about, you know, it's, it's one thing to have a, a drop of, say, 40 degrees, maybe over a 12-hour uh, period. But this had to plummet. And I can see the feathers on almost every one of these birds moving. But notice the water that had been splashed froze in place. Now, she doesn't say in here, but I would imagine this, this temperature drop was within like an hour or two for the water to freeze the way it did. That is what is startling. Uh, and I don't know if anybody, um, let's see, somebody did reply. Whoop, hang on, I think they replied to me. Let's just see. Um, I was hoping they replied. What was, the, okay, yeah, the temperature is actually listed in the article. That was kind of dumb for me to ask that question. Uh, let's see here. Does anyone really still understand the question? I was hoping to see how long it took for that to drop. I don't know. Don't see it in there as of right now. But, uh, you know, crazy things are happening. I mean, like mega crazy things are happening. And, uh, and by the way, too, just as a reminder there, if you, you want to see, I mean, uh, go to, go to, uh, uh, Al Jazeera on what's always going on in Israel, Al Jazeera Live, They're, they've done the best coverage on the war in Gaza. So just, uh, not always I run into commercials here, but uh, I'm just, let's see here. Are there ethics? Yes, there are ethics. Does Israel uh, comply with ethics, let alone international yeah. law standards, as we've seen in, in the Gaza Strip? Absolutely Israel not. pretty much has, you know, mm. riddled everything, every norm, every standard, uh, useless in, in mm. its case. Will, with well, we'll agree with her on one thing. That's Israel does that's not that's abide by any rules of war. They are tested on Palestinians, as your guests have been pointing out, and, and they get put into practice elsewhere, such as, for example, Africa. 
uh, which is, as a continent, uh, one of the largest uh, uh, markets for, for Israeli uh, wealth. Anyway, um, I'll be looking into this situation with Rafa, trying to update you guys tomorrow on that as well. Listen, I wanted to share with you too. Let me just uh, see. I'm going to probably pause this just for a second. I'm going to pull up another one. I'll, I'll first show you these here. Then I want to pull up over there on John Moore's program, thelibertyman.com. John also is uh, uh, has been sponsoring uh, the LifeWave products over on his channel. And uh, recently in one of uh, the, the, the broadcasts that we had done, um, John has really been going into, um, uh, let's see, I don't, I'm not very familiar with how John does his podcast on here, but uh, John has been bringing out some amazing uh, information on, uh, um, oh goodness, uh, on, on LifeWave. He does it on Tuesday mornings, but recently uh, he had, and, and I can't find it quick enough on here, he's been getting some amazing testimonies from people that have uh, per, that are purchasing the product from him off of his website there. Uh, some really stunning testimonies. Uh, I'll have to find that for you and share that with you. But before I do that, let me just, I'll share with you some that we had ourselves. This one here, amazing Parkinson testimony on X39 Lifeway. We were doing one of our Zoom meetings that we do on Sunday nights there. And I had been wondering about this one sister. She had asked us early on, does this help with Parkinson's? Well, again, it's not that the life wave does. It can't do anything. The patch doesn't do anything to heal. But what it does do is it stimulates your copper peptides and from the photobiomodulation therapy that it uses, which, by the way, a lot of chiropractor clinics use photobiomodulation uh, therapy as well for healing using lights and things like that. But this patch specifically causes the copper peptides to get excited and that in turn stimulates your baby stem cells. Well, this one sister had come on with us and when she asked about it, we found a testimony from Britain and it was a beautiful testimony of a guy that really seemed to be helped quite a bit, seemed to be very honest. She, as soon as she gets, gets her patches in, she flies to Alaska to see her sister, puts them on her sister. A few days later, her sister, they call us up on a Zoom meeting. She says she's feeling great, feeling better. And I'm like, wow, that's kind of nuts after only a few days, you know. But some people do get these really quick responses. But then everything kind of went silent for a while. Well, she just dropped in on the Zoom. It had been seven weeks, I think, since she had went to see her sister. And she stayed there with her. And I want to play for you what she says here in this Zoom meeting. It was mind-blowing about her sister now with Parkinson's. Listen in. What is your sister doing? Yeah, she's doing much better. Uh, the doctor has taken her off two of the medications she had been on. Because awesome. she doesn't need them anymore. And he cut a third one down to one third of what she was taking. Oh, so oh, she's doing an awesome. Amazing. Yeah. My she's aunt doing awesome. dementia is, is the same. She is uh, almost completely reversed. Yeah. Awesome. That's so wait, fantastic. Uh, it, there you go. Oh, wait a minute. Ash was going to ask a question. With so. using the patches, he's cut her medicines down. Is that what you're saying? Yes. That's incredible. Yes. Oh, the, like, the patches are helping her Parkinson's to the point that oh the doctor felt it for her best interest to cut down or cut some to the medications out completely and cut down on the third one. That blew me away. I was so excited to hear that. And, you know, and, and the, the, you know, you have to understand when something like this stimulates your stem cells, it covers a broad range of things that you're going through. And, you know, now this lady has been on it for seven weeks now. And, you know, this type of, I've noticed more people that suffer with brain related issues like dementia, Parkinson's, things like that. They seem to get faster turnarounds. Uh, people with more complex injuries that, uh, like in the case of spinal injuries, things like that seem to take longer. Uh, there was also the one Chinese guy lost his hearing. 
He regained hearing completely 100% back in one year, but it took seven months. So it just depends on how your body reacts, your diet, your plan. There's so much studies out there done on that, that that all matters. But, uh, but just amazing. And the testimony just keep coming. Now, I want to share this with you as well. And I think I've played this for you guys before. This is Dr. Sellers. Uh, and by the way, let's see, we've got Dr. Sellers, we've got Dr. Uh, Galen Tesla, uh, which by the way, if you happen to uh, saw the interview I did with Dr. Galen Tesla, uh, and he's the one that inspired you or, or is inspiring you to want to sign up with, with, uh, with LifeWave, please let us know. Email us, uh, banoonx39 at gmail.com or even Dr. Sellers, if she's inspiring you to want to try after you hear what she says here with X39. Write us at banoonx39 at gmail.com. Let us know because we want to give them credit for when they inspire people to, to want to try this product. Okay, listen to Dr. Sellers, some of the things that she says here. That's what we're doing now. Right. And that that is awesome because we were chatting the other day on the Zoom and we were speaking about how functional medicine doctors have different kinds of tools to bring health back to balance. There's many tools to, to health. You know, you use a lot of tools. You have supplements, you have herbs, you have lifestyle, a lot of things that you use. But now you also added uh, LifeWave patches, X39, X49, and other patches uh, as one of your tools. So... And when we were talking, you said something that really struck me and Steve. You said that you didn't really need testimonies. You were looking for data. You were looking for clinical studies and data. And once the data was there, you felt comfortable. So can you tell us, um, I'm sure that you studied this technology because that's you told us that you would not even go with it if you didn't understand it. So tell us, please, what made you uh choose lifeweight patches as one of your tools for your patients absolutely well my goal i was saved when i was 12 so my goal in natural medicine the whole my whole career was just asking our creator to direct me make sure that i was because uh, he put all the healing processes in our body to heal itself and so as a chiropractor it was really important to just make sure there was no interference in the neurology so that the body could function at its optimum. So this was a no brainer for me because we used a lot of uh, phototherapy there with cold laser and helping people with injuries. Um, there was a thermographer on staff. Um, so I completely understand the ther thermogra uh, infrared piece. And, yeah. and so when, <laughs> Um, and, and really, I've been really pretty strict uh, about using only what the father has created. So even when I recommend supplements, I try really hard to make sure that they're food-based or herbal combinations. Um, I try not to use too many synthetics unless there's just not a food concentration or herbal concentration available. So when I, but when I saw your uh, testimony video, the very first one you ever put out, and I, I've been watching you both for years and appreciate everything you've done. Um, so I, I felt like I trusted you and, uh, but I said, well, I get this. This is a no brainer for me. This, but I need to make sure I, I, I understand the biochemistry. I understand this technology uh, but i need to make sure that this technology because i've asked the, our creator to protect me from everything that's not of him um, my whole three decades of being in this field uh, i asked him to show me show me the technology uh, so i went right on and got the patent and, and started reading and right here on page two this convinced me so um, the technology is just like wearing a mirror. It's a reflector. So mirrors reflect light. And, but we can't wear a mirror strapped to us and it wouldn't work anyway. 
but it does reflect light. And so when I looked at this, I could see that it was a reflector. It's not putting anything in our body. There's nothing transdermal. It is uh, sealed. So it's not just a reflector. It's actually sealed. It's waterproof. The only thing that touches your skin is the seal part. So, um, and it reflects the light that our creator already put in us. It's not changing anything. It's just proliferating the healing process that are already there. But because we live in the world we do with lots of interference <laughs> um, from every angle, uh, there, there is um, lots of interference from every angle. It is, um, oh, I lost my train of thought. But um, <laughs> That's okay. anyway, um, there is lots of interference from every angle. So we do need to oh, proliferate pathways, right? So my whole career has been about supporting pathways and removing interference. Well, um, this is, this is this, again, it's a no brainer. The technology proliferating the pathways that our creator already put in there. I mean, I had to add it to my practice. I feel like I would be violating my oath and doing harm if I wasn't offering this to people. But it'd be like them coming in for chiropractic care with an injury and I adjust them, but I don't offer them the phototherapy cold laser that would help them get better faster. That is amazing. She's talking about the Hippocratic Oath, right? feel like she would be violating that oath, you know, and, and that's just volumes to me when you hear something like that. And then you had Dr. Galen uh, when we did the interview with him you know? and uh, just fascinating with with Dr. Galen here. Let me see if I can play a clip with him here. So happy you are in Lifeway with us. And um... Now, now, this is actually over on the, um, the Zoom meeting, but Dr. Galen, let me, let me pull him up over here on iConnect. And I just want to kind of share some of this with you because, in fact, uh, there is a regular medical doctor uh, in Orlando, Florida, Dr. Lansky. He also is fascinated by this and is also wanting to... Um, to get started and to share this with his own patients. Uh, that blew me away. Uh, so, you know, it's just, it's one thing after another and after another. Oh, it doesn't. We had no idea if it would benefit him, not benefit him. And is that, you know, still have that aura, if you will, of their missing limb. And uh, by the way, there is a, a substance to help uh, regenerate uh, tissue. Uh, the bladder of, of pigs uh, often, this is kind of a secret thing, uh, when it's desiccated, it is used to regrow uh, fingers and things like that. Uh, I've seen evidence of that. Um, and so these things do occur in nature. In a, course David Schmidt's own research of the planaria you know regrowing its head the hydra there's plenty of examples in nature of the regenerative properties that that exist and so we're talking about the reactivation of these kinds of things it, it's it's a fascinating subject and very exciting to uh, for the public to kind of get access to some of these things that seem to be kept secret. Then I, I like the way he put that. It is fascinating to see the public is getting access to some of these secrets, this secret technology that David Schmidt has invented uh, to stimulate your stem cells, you know, for something that's like as little as hundred bucks a month to be able to do that. Something that if you went in, you'd pay thousands of dollars. Potential in treating uh, a cat or a dog as they do for the human population. Um, and so it's just a numbers game. And it costs X amount of... 
I'll kind of leave it off for now right now. That's a, that's another fascinating interview, and I'll put the link in the description for you to watch this video here with Dr. Galen. We go into a lot of things that you can't say on YouTube on here. It's one reason why it's translated in all these languages, including Spanish and French. So definitely uh, you want to Pero be able si to listen to Dr. X cantidad de Galen millones de in dólares Spanish. o miles de millones de dólares obtener. La, la, la etiqueta aprobada. Didn't know I could speak Spanish that good, did you? Aha. Anyway, Stephen Vernon with Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening and God bless you. Be traveling tomorrow, so be a little difficult to put out a video tomorrow, but the following night definitely will get back with you guys. God bless you and thank you for listening.